Well, greetings, Sequoia Council Scouters, and welcome to the October edition of Roundtable Recap. We're moving into fall, which means cooler weather, new families in our units, and lots of fun outdoor activities to enjoy. It also means a rechartering is just around the corner. All unit charters expire on October 31st. Be looking out for communication from your unit commissioner regarding rechartering procedures this year. This is also a good time to review the youth protection training status of your new and returning leaders. Reach out to any commissioner if you need help with training reports or in-person youth protection training. Our hot topic this month is on responding to bullying. October is a National Bullying Prevention Month, and it's a good time to review the techniques that scouters must be prepared to use to intervene in bullying behavior when it occurs. Bullying happens when someone uses their power and position to frighten, harass, or threaten another person. Bullying can take many forms, verbal, social, physical, group, criminal, and cyberbullying. These actions have no place in scouting. The Scouts BSA Handbook teaches Scouts that to uphold the Scout law, they should never bully and they should help stop bullying when it is happening to people around them. They are advised to be a friend to those being bullied and to speak with a trusted adult. And that trusted adult is likely to be you. So what should you do? First, intervene immediately. Separate the youth involved and make sure everyone is safe and address the bullying behavior. Get the facts and support the youth involved. Be persistent. It takes constant effort to create and reinforce a culture where bullying has no place in your unit. Finally, document and report incidents to parents of youth involved and to BSA or other authorities where appropriate. Keeping with the theme of protecting our youth, this month's safety moment is on campfire safety. Scouts love campfires and fall is the perfect time to build some great memories around that campfire. Let's take a few moments to review some common sense guidelines to make sure your campfires are safe. First, the scout handbooks for each program contain useful campfire safety tips. Be sure to review those and go over them with the youth. Before making a fire, understand local regulations and whether temporary or permanent fire bans may be in place. Use common sense and consider your location, weather and wind conditions, and the projected size of your fire before starting. Use an established fire ring and keep your campfire size appropriate. Be sure your fire is a minimum of 15 feet from tents, shrubs, tree branches, or other flammable objects. Store matches, lighters, and fire starting materials in a waterproof container away from tents. Additives to fire such as chemicals, accelerants, color changers, or other flame enhancing products are prohibited. Never leave a campfire unattended. Prepare a unit fire guard and practice it. Keep proper safety equipment such as rakes, shovels, water, and a first aid kit nearby. Always extinguish campfires properly. Campfires must be completely cold out. Test cool dash for any sign of heat before considering the fire extinguished. I hope you all have a fun and safe month and I wanna thank you for all that you are doing to bring the promise of scouting to the youth in our community. And with that, I'll turn it over to Council Program Director Luke McNeese for this month's program updates. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate it. There's nothing more important than keeping uh, our the young people involved in scouting safe um, when it comes to youth on youth bullying or uh, in keeping our natural resources safe with uh, fire safety. So a handful of uh, announcements as we move into the month of October. Uh, popcorn will continue to be available through through October at the Cunningham Scout Service Center. Just call. Um, you can place an order and it can be picked and pulled and ready for you upon your arrival. <clears throat> The uh, silver beaver selection process has begun and we look forward to recognizing those folks at the council recognition banquet on December 5th. Uh, introduction to outdoor leadership skills, um, which, is a, which is a weekend 16 hour course for adult leaders um, on how to, uh, how to take Scouts BSA troops into the out of doors um, is being held October 16th through the 17th at Lake Placid in Blountville. So this is a great, a great new location for scouting events in the Tri-Cities, um, as well as a great opportunity for us to uh, to sharpen up on our outdoor skills. Um, our pinnacle Cub Scout program for this fall is our Cub Scout Haunted Adventure Weekend. Um, that's Halloween weekend, October 29th through the 31st, so we're excited to 
have you have all of our Cub Scouts there that weekend. We'll get you out early on on Halloween day on that Sunday so you can still trick or treat in your neighborhood that day. Weebos Woods, November 6th through the 8th. This should be a great experience for um, our Weebos and Arrow of Light Scouts to um, learn what it's like to be in a Scouts Scouts BSA troop and to, and to experience a little bit of, uh, of what the scouting program truly, truly is about. That same weekend at camp, we'll have a Foundations of COPE or a COPE instructor um, training course. Uh, if you have any questions about that, contact Daryl Davis and you can register on the council website uh, we're in we're in need of, of always all, always in need of, of qualified folks who want to help our uh, ropes course and our climbing program so um, th this weekend's a, a great a great weekend to learn more about that uh, November 13th is a uh, University of Scouting that that'll be held at Northeast State um, in Bluntville and we're excited to partner with them and our partnership will continue to grow in the coming months, but University of Scouting is kind of one of our first steps uh, steps in that partnership. And uh, and, you, and University of Scouting is an adult leader training. Um, it's six one hour uh, class one hour classes throughout the day on that Saturday. Lunch is provided. Registration is online for that. So we'd love to see you at that event. Um, we can. There's classes on on backpacking, high adventure on a shoestring budget, Cub Scout crafts. Um, sessions on outdoor ethics and everything in between a, a plethora of information is going to be communicated how to run a blue and gold banquet you know so if you're a tenured scouter or a brand new um, scout leader we've got a, a class for you at university of scouting so we'll see you there on november 13th and uh, last but not least we'll see you at the council recognition banquet on sunday december 5th at uh, camp davy crockett that should be a great afternoon uh, to celebrate our accomplishments as a council um in 2021 and recognize our recognize our 2021 silver beaver class we will see you on the scouting trail thanks